1989 Saab T16 turbo. Um, this one is one of 256 um, two-door sedans. So where the normal ones are a hatchback. You'll notice this one, super rare sedan, if you like to call it a sedan, saloon, whatever you want to call it, but it is still a two-door. Factory spec on three spokes with the spoiler and the two-tone trim down the side. Super rare car, really cool thing. So 80s is unreal. Start by having a look at the bodywork. If we look down this driver's side, you can see it is nice and straight all the way down there. It's not full of filler or anything like that. This front um, sort of part of the body kit. It's all nice and clean. There is a light scuff just on the corner of the bumper there. Just does look like it would clean off actually, to be fair. It looks like it's sort of a bit of old polish or something on there. Coming down this wing, that's all nice and clean and tidy. Barges are nice as well. They're normally sort of worn through from a sponge, but that's all good as you can see. Uh, all of the three spokes still have the centre caps. Again, quite unusual. They've normally gone walkabouts by now. So you've got this sort of arch extension on there, but you can see inside there, I know it's a bit dark, is all nice and clean and tidy. That body kit fits straight all the way down. Normally they can be quite wavy, but if you look along the top there, nice and straight. This driver's door, that's all nice and clean. Got a little, little blub of corrosion just at the bottom of the uh, wing mirror there. That's worth pointing out. Up this rear quarter, we've got a stone chip just here that's been touched in at some point. See that just there. And then again, inside this arch, it's nice and clean on the inside of that body kit all the way around. Another good wheel and tyre. Around the filler cap, that's all nice. There's another little scratch that's been touched in just here as well. Come up on the roof from here. It does have the electric sunroof on this one as well, and it works, so I'll show you that in a second. I have this a bit lit just beforehand. You saw being obsessed with aerodynamics. Around the front of that screen is all nice and tidy. There's no stone chips on there. The rest of the roof, all nice and straight, not covered in ripples or anything like that. The glass on this side, all stamped up, has that slightly brown 80s tint to it, which is always sort of period correct for me. I think it's kind of cool. Rear bumper, that fits all nice and straight. And it comes round on the back again, sits nice and level. Tail lights are bright and clear of uh, any moisture. It's a little chip out of that indicator lens on that side it's got the original spec dealer plates on them from Saab in uh, Wimbledon the correct barging again 900 turbo 16 valve around the spoilers all clean and tidy normally this is all stressed out from people opening the bootlid up and down on it there is a small crack just in the top there um, it's nothing structural it's just in the sort of the, the veneery top of the spoiler if you like the rest of the bootlid all nice and tidy around that rear screen that's all good Still got a original Saab Wimbledon dealer sticker in there with the old style telephone number. Nice touch. Then if you look down that side again, you can see the body lines are nice and sharp. It's nice and flat. It's not wavy or full of filler or anything like that. Body kit on this side meets the bumper all straight and tidy. Nothing really to note on this rear quarter. Tiny little mark just there on the body line. Another good wheel and tire. A little bit of a curb mark on this one. Again, if you get your hands inside there, you can feel it is nice and sharp and solid all the way around. Very, very light scuff just on the lower half of the body kit there, just on the line. If we get, get the camera underneath, you can see it's tidy under there. It's not rotten away or anything like that. Moving up this passenger side, we've got a little stone chip just on the body line just there. Nice and The plastics are all really good on this car. They're not dried out or covered in back to black or anything like that. Got a little blab of rust just popping up from the uh, the body kit arch section on the front passenger side, but get your hands on the inside. That is nice and tidy all the way around. And the final good wheel and tyre. Coming around on the front and it's same as the back. So that bit of body kit meets the, meets the bumper. All good. Nice and straight across the front and level. And same onto the driver's side. Headlights and indicators and side lights. All bright and clear. Chrome work on the grill is good. You've still got the original little turbo barge. And then the bonnet itself, obviously these bonnets on these early subs are huge, lovely and straight, no ripples or dents in it. The panel underneath the windscreen is all good. It's normally a bit of a moisture trap, that's nice and tidy. Moving on to the interior, driver's side door card, all clean and tidy. The seats have worn really well, there's no sign of anywhere at all on the bolsters. This sort of velour material does look horrible on cameras but if you get up close you can see lovely and clean nice and soft 
Bolsters are still all there. They've not sort of collapsed or anything like that. Excuse the dodgy camera work and we'll lift that seat, seat forward. Back of the seats are all good. These are not stretched out. Rear bench, lovely and tidy. There's no funny smells or anything in here. Headlining's all nice and clean. It's a little crease just there where the sunroof's been going back. Um, electric sunroof, it does work as well. We'll show you that in a second. Uh, and the uh, the reverse lock also works. Quite often the sort of bushes failed on those by now, but this one still works, which is always nice. Uh, this one is showing 190,000 miles. See these Saabs on crazy, crazy mileage. Uh, if you check the description, we'll detail what we know as far as service history goes and things like that. Nice and tidy around the steering wheel. You've got a little mark there where it's been caught with a ring or something at some point. All the switches and controls are clean and tidy. We have a, saw, a Sony Bluetooth head unit put in as well. So the original one's been replaced with that. Like I say, electric sunroof down the bottom there. Nice and clean along the top of that dash and around the passenger area. Move around into the boot. And again, like I said, one of 256 sedans, not the hatchback. So we've got what looks to be, uh, yeah, steering rack in there, spare steering rack. It's come from a bit of a Saab fanatic. I think he's sort of collecting up parts and things like that. Nice and clean on that boot floor. There's no sign of any moisture. You've got a little bit of surface rust there where the, where the jack is, but it is nice and solid. And then underneath that wheel, all nice and tidy. There's no sign of any moisture or anything in there. Got your original Saab thing there with a the body plaque, uh, body color and trim color. And another copy of the VIN. Coming round on the passenger side, nice and tidy on that door card. All nice and clean on that passenger seat. See a bit of Charlie there. We'll uh, we'll throw him in with the car if you like. Yeah, he'll drink more fuel and food than uh, than the car will, unfortunately. But you can have him under the bonnet there, nice and tidy on these inner wings. You can see the bulkheads all nice and clean. Quite often with these, sort of tend to corrode away. But as you can see, lovely and solid, lovely and tidy down there. Uh, same as on the passenger side. Sorry, on the driver's side. All good. We'll get that started up there. Starts on the button, obviously you've got a 2 liter 16 valve turbo engine, that lovely clamshell bonnet. I'm going to get Charlie to hit the button for the uh, sunroof, you can see that drops down and flips back nice and quick. You can see in there it's all nice and clean and tidy, comes back nice and smooth. We'll go around the back and give it a little rev, just check there's nothing nasty coming out the back there. There we go, I'm not going to rev it too hard because it is stone cold. So there you go, Saab. Nine, uh, T16 Turbo, one of 256 sedans. Any questions, please get in touch. Thank you.